been an old vegetable depot, old train station since it was built in 1921. It was kind of the epicenter for agriculture in the tri-state area. So it's been really nice to bring it back home. I am the chef and proprietor of Freight House here in Paducah, Kentucky. We're serving new southern cuisine, so we are taking traditional flavors, um, really old recipes, and reinventing them. We were always in the kitchen growing up. The other grandkids wanted to go outside and play. I wanted to stay in and learn how to pickle things and jar things and make apple butter. And This is how we've cooked for years. This is how my grandparents cooked. You know, they don't teach you anything about running a restaurant in school. So when I first started working with the small business development and I didn't have a building yet, lots of dish, washing dishes and shucking peas and, you know, and, and burning things and working my way from the bottom all the way up to the very top. Yeah, I mean, Top Chef contacted me. Then they told me, well, it's gonna be in Kentucky. And I said, of course, like, sign me up. You'll see it's a completely open kitchen. We hide nothing, so we want people to see what we're cooking and what we're doing to the ingredients. It all starts on farm somewhere. You know, we're sourcing as much as we can from farms right here in Kentucky every day. You feel good whenever you know where your money's going, and it's going in the people of this community. It might be farm, it might be fresh, but it still has to be good. It needs to be delicious. Those are things that are everyday basic to us, but they're very everyday to this region also. I don't want my kids to not know, um, you know, about salmon cakes from Eastern Kentucky. I don't want my kids to not know about fried catfish. Simple, easy things, banana pudding. And it's a preservation of history. It shouldn't be just about fueling your body. It should be more about fueling your soul. Mm -hmm.